would you be happy to share the best piece of advice you ever had? Oh, uh, there's a lot in there, but the one I'm going to go for is have difficult conversations up front. And it's, I'm sharing that because that's one that I wish that I'd learned many, many years ago. Um, and uh, just to briefly expand on that, it was because um, I was in a scenario where we were merging three different companies and we just tied it after going through all the difficult situations with the shareholders and the directors. And then at the last board meeting, one of my colleagues said, um, what about if somebody wants to leave? And I said to him, what, what are you talking about? We're already happy. We've finally got to agreement and you're talking about leaving. And he said to me, I'll never forget this. He said, this is exactly the time we want to talk about this because there's going to come a time where someone's tired, someone wants to do something different and we need to know what to do. And if we all agree it now and put it in the shareholders agreement, then mm -hmm. we need to never talk about it again. And I just think that's in anything, in contracts, in employment, in relationships, in life, I think that's a brilliant bit of wisdom. I must, I've done a hundred of these now and that's really good. Nobody's ever said that before. But again, ah, which okay. is the beauty of speaking to lots of different people from different backgrounds is that I get to, get to absorb all of this stuff. But you, you're completely <laughs> correct. But it's, you know, people yeah. always jump into stuff thinking about all the positives and you are 100% correct. What if it goes wrong? It's just the whole pre-mortem kind of thing of just trying to mm -hmm. figure out. Mm -hmm. And just different, I work with different businesses where you have owners of the same business but at different ages. And because okay. of that, they have different desires. So if you're in your 50s, it's a difference if you're in your 40s. And mm -hmm. it's that kind of thing of where often, I think you're right, there's always so many unspoken things that go on that mm -hmm. yes, it might be a difficult conversation, but actually, will you be happier? Because it, honestly, I think that's really, really good. Yeah. Um, if one of the other questions I was also like to ask, if you were to give advice to your younger self, so you could pick... Uh -huh. You at school, you at 16, mm. whatever. If you could give advice to your younger self, what would it be? Okay, that's quite a deep one. Uh, what's My gut instinct uh, is going to be um, everything will turn out okay. Because I think at certain times, we, in running your own business in life, we hit some really big bumps in the road and we think, oh my goodness, and it seems insurmountable. But do you know what? Every problem that you've got through or every problem you've faced, you've got through. And I think just that reassurance that it is going to be okay and find your path. No, yeah. again, really good. And it's true, yeah. like with so many times when you look back and, you know, you think, oh, well, the world's ended. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but actually, often for me, actually, ironically, the, the toughest times is when you, you learn the most. But actually, it's all data points on that course correction. So you've got, you sh mm -hmm. when I was doing my PhD, on day one, which sat with my supervisor, he showed me this graphic and it was to do with the ship and there was rocks either side and jaggedy stuff and alligators. And the idea was his job was just to keep you off the rocks. But the point is that those learning points, those data points, mm -hmm. you're going down that river regardless. <laughs> yeah. So like yeah, if, some, right. if something happens or you get made redundant or whichever, because you know, I got made redundant in the 2008 uh, recession as well and mm. in the 2014 oil price crash, I, you know, but I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for all of those things. And all of them at the time were horrible. But I wouldn't change it. And it's so I think yeah. it's a brilliant piece of advice.